Hi, this is KC Lau here, the author of Top Money Tips for Missions. And today I'm going to uh, talk about how to calculate your retirement fund. And this is actually an, uh, a question posted by a reader. And his name is Alan. Alan. Okay, Alan asked me a couple of questions. First is he said, uh, what is the amount of money that he need to accumulate before he retire and if he live up to 75 years old? And he would like to have a tidy sum of Malaysian Ringgit 8,000 per month for his expenditure. And the other question is the same question as the above except that he would like to retain the full cash value or the principal amount to his descendants when he pass on. Okay. So we just need uh, some information. Okay. Okay. Let's assume Alan is thirty years old now, and he said he is going to retire at the age of fifty-five. And according to his email, he said, "Let's assume he will live up to age seventy-five." That means, okay, Alan, he already has some asset over here like EPF, cash and other type of investment and at the age of 55 he will need to accumulate a minimum retirement fund that will allow him to spend every month 8,000 until his age 75 the day here so he said he want to spend 8,000 per month for these 20 years of retirement during retirement right and before retiring he still has 25 years to go okay and this is the amount he's interested to know how much should he save right and the other question is if he wants to retain the principal, that means even though he spent 8000 every month, the principal sum of the retirement fund is still retained. So you will definitely need a higher amount on this. Okay, we'll call this Y. Y is based on the capital preservation method. Capital preservation, preservation. And X is based on what we call capital utilization. Okay. So we are first, uh, Y is actually very easy to calculate, but X will be a bit tricky. So for mathematic formula, you see, if you want to calculate why, it's, very, it's, it's actually very simple. But first, we must know that this 8,000 per month is actually uh, based on current value. That means in, let's say uh, this year is 2011. And after 20 years, it will be 2031. 2031. So at that time, 8,000, if now 8,000, it allows you to uh, uh, have a certain purchasing power. But at that time, you have to uh, calculate the inflations. You have to take into account the inflation. That means you will, you will need a higher amount in order to have 8,000 at this moment. Okay, that's very simple to do. We will use the... If you use financial calculator, okay, this is the famous HP 10B. Let me say that. Let's assume the inflation is 4% per annum. Okay, so a key in 8,000 present value, 4% a year. And uh, 20 years later, 
the future value is 17,528 so I'll just put it here uh, 17,000 okay 17,500 so and we have to uh, also estimate the rate of return so let's let's say it's a 10% a year rate of return that means this Y amount this capital of retirement fund if it generate 10% a year you will get 17,500 per month so if you times 12 you get the yearly amount which is uh, so is uh, 200 10,000 per annum so the Y amount is actually uh, divided by 10% so you get uh, 2.1 million 2.1 million so Y amount is 2. 2.1 million okay so you get 210,000 every year to spend so X amount will, will be a, a bit less than here but due to inflation the actual rate of return after you taking into inflation in account it has a complicated formula for this but we will just as just for simplicity uh, I'll, we will just take like 10 minus 4 so the actual return rate is 6% that means you you can only use 6% of the return because 4% of it you have to take into account for the inflation okay you got what I mean right and the PMT is the payment you have to use every year is negative 17,500 times 12 so it's 210,000 and it's 20 years okay and future value will be zero that means at this time future value you finish you deplete all the money after you utilize all the capital so now we want to calculate what is the X amount okay you use the financial calculator again okay let's input uh, 20 and it's 20 rate of return is 6% and present value is this is the amount you want to calculate PMT is 210,000 make sure you put a negative here it's PMT and future value is 0 so you get the present value is 2.4 million okay okay 2 point okay, it should be 2.4 million now you have a question hey, why X amount is even higher than Y amount uh, because we use Y amount uh, we use the different rate of return so if you use 6% here okay, so here that's it whenever you change to 6% you get the correct amount because just now we didn't take inflation into account so if 200 you have to use a financial calculator again 210 divided by 0.6 sorry 0 0.06 you get 3.5 million so in fact Y amount should be 2.1 is 3.5 million ringgit that's how we calculate the retirement fund using financial calculator but uh, you don't have to learn about all this financial calculator stuff because I have a spreadsheet that can actually calculate and this is the retirement calculator spreadsheet using Excel. So we just input uh, Alan's current age is 30, retirement age is 55. Number of years from now is 25, calculated for you. Desired annual retirement income at present value is equals to 8,000 
times 12, right? So it's 96,000. Expected inflation rate 4%. So desired annual retirement income is 255,000. After it's adjusted with inflation. Years in retirement, 20 years. Expected annual rate of investment is 10%. Oops, uh, I think what, I know what's the error because I just now when I, when we calculated the 17,000 here, 500, we used the N as a 20 years. Because N uh, is an error, I shouldn't use a 20 years over here, you should use 25 years because from uh, 2011 to the retirement age is uh, actually 2036, should be 2036. 2036 because after 25 years from age 30 now it's 2011 is age 30 at age 55 it should be 2036 so that's why I use the wrong okay never mind we just uh, work around with this let's say Alan is a uh, now the age is 35 okay okay that's the fun part of it when we do something we always know the error 35 it's going to become 20 years okay just assume it that way and we'll have the, the correct calculation so it's 2.6 million and this is 3.6 so it's quite near to the calculation so that's it if you want to uh, have a copy of this uh, retirement calculator I only provide it to the members of uh, uh, mass courses is money automation system course and to know more about this course you can go to uh, please visit money automation system is my m o n e y money automation is auto a u t o m a t i o n and system is s i s t e m dot com And you can download a free report, but if you, want to, if you want to join right away, just click on the content and you'll find a join link over here. And currently the course is sold at uh, 228. Just click add to shopping cart and you'll be able to pay using your credit card through PayPal. It's 228 ringgit one time payment or you can use Maybank to uh, you can transfer money to my Maybank account and I will create the login account okay that's all please go ahead and visit moneyautomationsystem.com see you again bye bye